there are plenty of situations in the real world where more than one force is acting on an object and when multiple forces act it's the combined force that usually matters all of the forces are considered at once and their direction is taken into account as well and the total combined force all those forces acting together can be thought to be acting as one and the total combined force is called the net force and that's an important term net force and it will be easier to understand with a couple of diagrams let's imagine we have a mass here mass m and here's a force acting on it we'll say this force is five pounds and here's another force acting on it we'll say that one is a force of three pounds so two forces are pushing it both pushing to the right one is three pounds and one is five pounds you should be pretty uh, it should be pretty easy for you, to, for you to see that what we call the net force in this case, the total combined force, would be 8 pounds, and we can say it's to the right. In other words, these two forces together are the same as if we had a single 8 pound force pushing to the right. So the 8 pounds is what we call the net force. Here's another example. Suppose you have a mass here and suppose you have a three pound force pushing it this way and a five pound force pushing it that way. Well hopefully you can see that the five pound force is going to win so it will tend to move to the left but it won't move to the left as fast as if this force were pushing it all by itself because this force is working against it. The net force in this case, the total force taking both of those into account and their direction into account, the net force here would be a force of two pounds to the left. In other words, these two forces together will produce the same net effect or the same overall effect as a single two pound force would be pushing by itself to the left. Now one of the things we've been discussing in this course so far is motion in one dimension. Basically motion along a line. And when you're dealing with motion along a line and forces along the line in one dimension, it makes sense to use positive and negative to indicate the direction. Just like we have a number line with positive over to the right and negative over to the left, we can use those positive and negative signs to indicate directions for our force. So just a couple of examples here. If we have a mass here and we apply some force to it, here's a six pound force to the right and let's imagine a four pound force to the left and so and notice I've I've drawn my my four pound force a little bit shorter than the six pound force well imagine your number line your number line is typically drawn with positive to the right and negative to the left so this six pound force which is to the right we'll think of that as a positive six and this four pound force which is to the left we'll think of that as a negative four the net force is then found by adding all of the forces. So we're going to add up the 6 and the negative 4. So we add them up, taking the direction into account. And the direction is taken into account by calling one direction positive and one direction negative. So the net force in this case is going to be 6 plus negative 4. And that equals, obviously, two pounds and the fact that this is a positive number means that my net force is to the right do another example over here here's a mass and let's imagine a ten pound force acting on it and a seven pound force acting on it okay both of these are to the left and to the left we typically call the negative direction so the net force is going to be these two forces added up the sum the total of those two forces so we'll take we'll add those up but just keep in mind that they're both negative so the net force in this case is going to be negative 10 plus negative 7 if you really want to be correct you'll put units on those 
say negative negative 10 pounds plus negative 7 pounds and that gives you negative 17 pounds the net force is negative 17 pounds what does it mean to have a negative force well it means a force in the negative direction in this case that means a force to the left so the positive and negative signs help us to take the direction into account mathematically